What is going on, wash family? Uh, Bill here, Mr. Mr. Power Washing. Um, you can see our our frozen landscape here in southern Tennessee that's finally thawing. Been down here 10 years and uh, from Chicago. And this is the worst it's ever been down here for us. This is bad. Uh, up until this morning, we had three inches of solid ice here because it snowed and, and it thawed a little bit and then it rained and then it froze and it was in the single digits for like three days straight. So finally thawing out. Um, it's been a mess. It's a little subdivision here. It's all nasty. Everything was shut down. Whole town, everything shut down for all, for a week. It's crazy. But uh, needless to say, it's that time of year again. I'm getting ready to do my trailer rebuild. Um, got it tucked in here. A little change of scenery. Um, so we've got basically. I had to squeeze into my parents' garage here temporarily i'm going through a uh a, a separation at what was home so having to make do it's all right life happens things happen got to keep pushing forward um so i got the trailer tucked in here just in time before that weather hit so i didn't have to go through the reason why i built my original shop of winterizing everything um this close to time work slows down you know and uh every usually the first week or two of february is when i do my uh rebuild so uh, getting ready. I gotta. I'm gonna do a whole whole other thing here. I'm gonna drop the top of the the uh, upper framework on ladder rack that I put on last year. I'm gonna drop that down. Uh, I thought giving myself an eight foot clearance. Uh, I went seven foot ten inches uh, would be enough. And lo and behold, commercial contracts really start coming in and parking garages come up. So I've got to now have a seven foot four inch clearance. So I'm gonna. Drop that down, uh, moving my eight gallon a minute machine to the front. I've got a Comet P40 I just bought that's going on the other front side. Um, all of my reels, except for my supply reel, are going to be suspended uh, inside my upper rack there. I got uh, two of these uh, four foot Craftsman bed boxes that will fit perfectly over the lip of the trailer, one on each side over my fenders. Uh, I'm gonna reorient reorientate all of my tanks uh, i'm going to spin them around flip them a little bit uh, just to increase my room for other stuff uh, i'm going to the pwmca next month in florida and i'm also picking up a used sirocco reclaim system from a, a washer down there um, so the goal will be to have that mounted on here as well um, i want my surface cleaners kept in front instead of in back where i always worry that it's going to drop off the edge of the trailer I'm um, doing away with this box altogether. Um, that's why I bought those two 48 inch boxes. I am going to keep the sliding drawer box because everything is going to mount on top of here. Uh, I'm going to relocate the battery. I think the fuel tank is going to stay there. Um, soap tank, SH tank, buffer tank is moving back a little bit. I'm going to counterbalance my weight. I never drive with this tank full and I had it centered over here so I had good tongue weight. I think I could scoot it back a little bit more and get a little more real estate up here for other stuff. Um, I really want to try and uh, neaten it up and condense a little more because uh, with the way business is going, uh, I'm expanding at a rate faster uh, than what I had planned ever <laughs> uh, to say, So, uh, which is a good thing. It's going good. Um, but yeah, we need some changes. So I'm going to do a, a two-week rebuild on this, drop the top, repaint everything, replumb everything. Uh, go through all my swivels, all my hoses, all my whip hoses, redo it. I'm going to have a control panel here. Um, I'm going to have three manifolds on it instead of one. Uh, I'm ditching the hybrid system. Uh, it worked absolutely fantastic uh, for me in the past um, as, you know, doing stuff smaller scale, just basically residential and small commercial jobs. It works perfectly. Uh, trying to multitask, uh, it, it just doesn't cut the mustard anymore. There are times now where I'm moving fast enough to where I can both be using my 12 volt and my pressure washer at the same time uh, for downstreaming. Uh, and I would like to be able to do that again. Um, so with, with, with this hybrid system, you can only, whatever mix you have it set at is we'll go to the 12 volt pump or to the uh, pressure washer reel. So uh, I'm ditching it for that reason alone. Uh, otherwise, anyone starting out, I highly recommend this hybrid system. It's done me fantastic for, shoot, four years now. Um, I'm seeing a few people here and there doing it. Um, not a ton, though. 
Um, but that's okay. Everyone's got their own way. So that's it for right now. Um, as I start disassembling things, uh, I will go ahead and start doing videos on how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it, and do a little more in depth. Um, let me know in the comments, do you, would you rather prefer like long videos where I go through things in depth? Um, or would you rather have short videos that are only like two, three minutes long and I just have more of them? Uh, for me, once I start talking, I just you know, squirrel and I'm gone. Um, and usually when I watch videos, I'll watch them through. If they're 20, 30 minutes long, I'll sit and watch every minute of it. But I know that's not the majority of people. Um, so, yeah, that's it. For right now, I'm going to let the rest of this stuff thaw and, uh, and get ready for the rebuild. So, wash on.